Glitch's submarine plus a long, long time equals home to that octopus and lots of fishy friends. Phew. Glad we didn't spoil your home. Huh? Not cool. Grandmaster Glitch! Stay away from Granny Glitch's sub, no jitters. Glitch, stop. Your granny's submarine is home to lots of sea creatures. Ah, can't they use the rest of the ocean? Full power! Stop! We need to cut the power to the winch. I'm on it! Meanie, meanie, whiny... Taste it, Crimbles. Too. We need click-ons. <laughs> Ubercorn, it's time for an underwater rescue. You got it, Gold Jetta. Time for a mix to fix that glitch. Geo fix. Geo giant. Geo ball. Okay, Go Jettas, today we're testing an all new click on. Wow, a new click on. Ooh, what is it? New click on, new click on, <laughs> new click on. If it passes the test, it can join the rest in the Click On Hall of Fame. So meet me at the testing dome. You got it, Ubercorn. <laughs> uh, hey, well, wait for me. New click on? <laughs> it won't be as good as my all new Grimo freeze. <laughs> They'll probably build a gold statue of it, like these. <laughs> Come along, Grimbots. Time to show those no jetters what this can do. <laughs> ah, is the new click on a geo racer? A geo crane? Or a geo pizza slicer? Mmm. Nope. Nope. And nope, let me proudly present the GeoVac. Oh. Perfect for Kyan to clean his room. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Now that is geographic. <laughs> <laughs> Setting to full power. Huh. Oh! It. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure you're quite ready for full power, Kyan. <laughs> <laughs> ready, Go Jettas? The Geo Vac can suck all sorts of things up, including bad weather. Let's try it in a stormy situation. Pressurizing dome, forming thundercloud. Whoa! Huh? Hailstones from a thundercloud? That's where hailstones come from, Foz. Fitty, fitty, windy. Perfect. <laughs> Pay attention, my Grimbot cadets. Today's lesson is all about wind power. <laughs> oh, this is going to be much better than any of those no jetter lessons. Soon, <laughs> cadets from all over the island will come and join the Grim Academy. <laughs> it's not just a field. This is the Grim Kite Flight Arena. Behold! <laughs> Hold this and wait for my signal. Three, two, one. Throw it! <laughs> Oh, 
See how strong and powerful wind can be? Luckily, it's never too strong for the Grandmaster! <laughs> You were there, didn't I? Just Professor Glitch playing around. Not playing now! <laughs> Listen up, Go Jettas. The all new Geo Flow is all about turning wind power into click on power. Get it right inside the geodome, and then you can try it outside. Wahoo! I'm ready. I'm steady. I'm. See you, silly. Grimbots. Okay, Glitch. Food waste in here turns to biogas here, filling your boosters here. Ooh. Oh. Yes, marvelous. Excellent. <laughs> We're going to be faster than the Broomster. Grimbots, <coughs> more leftovers, please. <coughs> mm. oh. Crimbler's full. I'm ready for launch. Whoa, Glitch. Too much gas. No, don't be such a whoa, Cheddar. These boosters are fine. Or someone. You got it, team. Truckster, let's roll. Launching Truckster in three, two, one. Seatbelts. Go! 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 Grimbler up ahead, Go Jettas. Stay on its tail. You got it, Ubercorn. Follow me, Grimbots. Your Grandmaster knows the way. Yeah. <laughs> Must be this way. No, not that way. Oh, Grimbots. Must be this way. This way. No, definitely <laughs> this way. <laughs> Grimbles. It's just like last time. I was lost for weeks. <laughs> it's not funny, Grimbots. <laughs> Kyan! Remember, Go Jettas, to solve the maze and reach the tower, keep following north on the compass. <laughs> sure thing, Ubercorn. I'm not going to let those no jetters beat me to the tower. Huh. Greenbots, I have an idea. <laughs> Kyan! Ha! <laughs> Aced it! Oh. Um. <sighs> <sighs> Want to try the compass now, Kyan? Huh. Lead the way, Foz. Okay, north is this way. North, here I come. <laughs> oh, Kyan. Perfect. This 
will get me to the tower in no time. <laughs> Kyan, look at your compass. Those no jetters can't beat me. Full. <laughs> <laughs> for a waterfall. Waterfall! Awesome! We're going the right way! This way, cream farts! <laughs> According to the map, it's north at this triangular rock. Got it! <sighs> Where next? Straight up here! Of course I know where I'm going! I'm a Grandmaster Map Reader! The Geodo of the What's-Its-Name is... <laughs> Greenbots, get me down! We have to find the dome before those no-jetters! <laughs> Not far now! Oi! What? Get me down, new jetters! I've been tangled up here for days! Okay, minutes. All right, we'll be the first to the dome now, Glitch! See ya! But, of course, we'll rescue you first! Now, who wants to race anyway? Let's call it a draw! This way! Uh, <clears throat> Wait for me! How's the search going, Gojettas? Huh, I'm confused, Ubercorn. We found the waterfall, the triangular rock, and here's the crooked tree, but there's no sign of the ancient dome. It should be right here. Welcome, welcome! The Green Dome is open for business! Today, I, Grandmaster Glitch, you may have heard of me, will be demonstrating an incredible glitch on. <sighs> Any questions? Yes, you at the back. Good question. I agree, mud is the best thing ever and can be used to make anything gloriously uh, muddy. Hello. Um, that's enough Geo Giant training. Time to put me down. Oh. Huh? 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 Uh, where have all the cadets gone? Uh-oh. I think that's our answer right there. What's happened to all the trees? Uh, what's that? Grandmaster Glitch! Trouble, Gojettas. A mudslide. Time for urgent funky facts. Mudslides usually happen on steep, muddy slopes when there's heavy rain. The roots of trees help to hold soil together. But if trees are removed, it can cause mudslides. Mudslides are very powerful and can reach high speeds. They sweep things along and can destroy anything in their path. Rain plus muddy slope minus trees equals mudslide. Thanks to irrigation, these will be ready to eat in just a few months. A few months? Why waste all that time messing around with drippy pipes when you can grow food with my size ray? Ah, wah, wah. 
Whoa! Glitch, that's not a good idea. Of course it is. Look, I can make them even bigger, too. <laughs> Stop zapping that corn! <laughs> all right, all right. I'll put them back the way they were. Set to shrink and... <laughs> Tell your chicken to... Oi! Where did you all go? Fine, then I'm off too. So long, Bicky! <laughs> What happened? Glitch plus size ray equals one big problem. We have an even bigger problem, Go Jetters. The sprinklers are almost ready to go. Awesome! The corn could do with a good drink. Good for the corn, but bad for us. The water droplets will be huge. We need to find Glitch and get that size ray fast. Truckster, let's roll. Launching Truckster in three, two, one. Seatbelts. Go! Go, 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 go is just ahead, but watch out! Here come the sprinklers. Boom! I would not love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Hi, and you okay out there? It's getting rough, Ubercorn. You'd better get back here fast. Oh, uh, okay. Cadets, race you back to the academy. <laughs> Huh? The tremors are getting worse. But why? Hmm. Grandmaster Glitch! He's drilling the volcano! Not good, Go Jetters. You need to stop Glitch before he makes it erupt. To the Broomstar! Launching Broomstar in three. Two! One! Seatbelt! Go! Go, 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 Are mud mining, and if you try and stop them, huh? but they're drilling too close to the underwater volcano. You've got to stop them. You blah blah blah. with the funky facts, it's Ubercorn! Welcome to our disco dazzling round the world quiz. Let's play! <laughs> Sounds like they're ready to meet our two teams. First up, we have Team Go-Jetter. Uh, uh, oh, hello! <laughs> and they'll be playing against Team Glitch. Just 
do as I say, no Jetta, and things will be fine. Don't worry, Glitch. We're going to ace this. Of course. And if you're going to be on Team Glitch, you'll need this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, teams. Hands on buzzers. Everybody ready? Let's play... <laughs> Round one. Question one. In which country is the Grimbot hiding? This country is home to the Grand Canyon, Seattle Space Needle, and the Florida Everglades. Um, oh. I'm sure it's France. Whoa, Glitch. The Seattle Space Needle isn't in France. Oh, uh, ha! It's the USA, the United States of America. Correct. One point to Team Gojetta. All right. Good work. I'll answer the next question. Round one, question two. Picture puzzle. Where in the USA is this? Um, oh, I know this. We've been there a couple of times. <laughs> it's the Statue of Liberty in New York. Correct! A point to Team Glitch. It's one point each. A little faster next time, Foz. Got it! It was stuck on top of a giant ant! Go, Jetters. Are you okay? For now, but it's not safe being small anymore. Can you grab the size ray and make us big? Easy there. Sorry, Go, Jetters. No can do. I can't get to the size ray. Then we need click-ons. You got it, Go Jetters. Time for a mix to fix that glitch. Geo Giant. Geo Grab. I'll go find Uncle Glitch. And we'll find the size ray. Tiny go jetters. You might just break my record. record has to be beaten one day. You could have really hurt yourself there, Zuli. Less showing off and you might beat my time. Sorry, Ubercorn. It's just everyone really likes my tricks. Well, that sea arch doesn't. It's much too fragile. Let me tell you why. Hit it! <laughs> the Academy is where it's at. of the wind and sea can cause rocks on our coastlines to get worn down and change shape. This is called erosion. 
Rocks sticking out into the sea are called a headland. Strong waves can erode a headland and make a cave. Over time, the cave can open right through to the other side and make a sea arch. Waves and wind will keep wearing the arch away until the roof falls down. You don't want to be close by when this happens. Rocks crash down until there's only a sea stack left. Whoa! Sea arches are dangerous. Me and the Roomster were lucky. Lars, you stop that pump. I'll stop this sea monster. It's okay, Grimbo. I've got this. I need my thanks, Grimbot. Take that, sea monster. Taste it. Good work, Go Ah, uh, those seagulls still want their breakfast. Shoot, shoot. Leave those crabs alone. We need click-ons. Super Corner, we need to protect the crabs and get the sand back to the beach. You got it, Go Jetters. Time for a mix to fix that glitch. Geo Shield. Geo Ball. Shield, go! Yes! You're safe now, little crabs. Oh, we can't stay like this all day. We need that sand back fast. On it, buddy. Stop it! No, Jitter! That's my sand! No way, Glitch. It belongs to the Academy Beach. Oi! Glitch. What's this shitty thing doing in my way? Don't worry, fellow whales. I'll take care of this. <laughs> That's it, whaley whales. Swim free. from the beach. All right, everyone, the tide's almost in. Give the whale some room. Come on. a nice, quiet beach. Sorry, Glitch. We need more information from the weather-predicting balloons. And boy, 
Yeah, for our next weather report. Weather predicting, you say? Hmm. Greenbots, <laughs> listen up. I need you to trick those weather predicting thingies into making it look like there's a big rainstorm coming. That should empty the beach pronto. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Make the boy report that the sea is really choppy. Well done, Grimbot. That balloon will tell those no jetters it's going to get really stormy. Whoa, these results are off the charts. Uh-oh. Oh, dear me. That doesn't look good. I wonder what it could mean. Hmm. It looks like there's going to be a big change in the weather. We should take a closer look at this. No time for that. I'll tell you what, I'll read the weather. Action! <laughs> now, welcome to this afternoon's special weather report with me, Grand Weather Reporter Glitch. And oh, dearie me! Look out, everyone! There's an absolutely huge storm on the way! Find your biggest coats. Stay safe inside, and most importantly, keep away from the beach. It's going to be very windy, very wet, and very, very dangerous. Yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Grimbots. Now, I need someone to fetch me an ice cream. Go, Jettas, what are you doing out there? Look the looks! And throw them! Hey! <laughs> Another water spout! Watch out, Lars! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I told you the trucks that could handle it! It may seem like fun, Go Jetters, but water spouts can be dangerous. Time for some urgent, funky facts. Hit it! <laughs> Fair weather water spouts are twisting columns of air that form over the ocean and suck up water, carrying it towards the clouds. They are an amazing sight but can be dangerous to small boats if they get too close. Sometimes, much stronger tornadic water spouts can appear under storm clouds. They are bigger and darker, just like a tornado that forms on land, and are very dangerous. If a powerful tornadic water spout comes onto the land, it can destroy anything in its path. So anyone nearby should get out of the way or take cover. Stormy weather plus water spouts equals maybe we better get back to the academy. On our way, Ubercorn! Okay, go jetters, but be quick. This weather is not good. I can feel it in my hooves. Professor Wave, can you get everyone into the Geo Dome? I'll get Tala and Finn. <laughs> The rush. It's only a little wind. Help! I'm stuck! We're coming, Glitch. Nice catch, Lars. Now let's reel him in. <laughs> Great rescue! Ow! Rubbish rescue! Whoa! I don't like the look of those clouds. A uh, go. Let's get to safety indoors. Come on, cadets. Everything's checked, Ubercorn. The wind farm's OK. Great work, Lars. Now we'd better get to safety, too. And then, Gladstone Glitch the Third drove into certain danger. <gasps> Brave and fearless, he was just like me. <laughs> oh, Grimbles! I don't like the dark. Or oh, thunder. Or oh, lightning. Ubercorn, what happened to the lights? Ubercorn! Comms are down! <laughs> the storm's getting worse. I hope Zuli and Foz are okay. <gasps> and Tala! She's with them! 
We better check on them. Time to be brave, just like great uncle. <laughs> to the truckster! <laughs> the doors aren't working. <laughs> I noticed. <sighs> Lars, nothing's working. Not even the doors. I need to fix the wind turbine controls to get the power back. Wait! We can't go out in the kayaks! We need to find shelter! We need click-ons! Huh? Ubercorn? What's going on? Please. Whatever it was disappeared into the jungle. In there? It'll take forever to find it. Not if we use click-ons! Ubercorn, we need to search a lot of jungle fast. And carefully. You got it, Go Jettas. Time for a mix to find that beast. Geo jump. Geo board. Geo grab. Geo boots. Jetters. We don't want to scare it. <sighs> Hello. You're not new. Something's been chewing leaves up here. We must be on the right track. That's a green monkey. They've already been discovered. Really? <laughs> Amazing. Well, I'm gonna name this one anyway. I think I'll call you Bob. Come on, there's still something out there. Just waiting to be found. Oh! <laughs> you found it. Did I? This looks just like the plant from Grim HQ. Oh no. What is it? It's a type of coral vine. A fast-growing super weed. <gasps> I think Ubercorn needs to hear about this. <gasps> Whoa. This new Geoforce Focus Beam is cool. <laughs> Just like this ice lolly. <laughs> hey, Ubercorn, we could have a weedy... Uh, I mean, really big problem. That's the same plant that was stuck in Grim HQ's chimney. Exactly. But it doesn't belong on the Academy Island. It's a super weed. And if it spreads, it could be a big problem. Um, I planted one in my garden for research. Gojetas, I think you need some funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts, funky facts. The Academy is where it's at. Some types of plants grow so quickly, they can double in size in a day. When fast-growing plants grow in a place they're not supposed to, they're called superweeds. Superweeds are often accidentally brought to places they shouldn't be, by people, animals, or vehicles like Grim HQ. Once they start growing, they're really hard to get rid of. Superweeds take over gardens and farms, and that's a big problem. They completely cover and destroy the plants and crops that live there. Even buildings can be damaged by them. Oh, no! But it's just in Tala's garden, right? Yeah, just one little plant. Surely we can handle it. Um, I did add a few drops of super strength plant food. And I may have spilt some, too. Uh-oh. Go, Jetters, get yourselves over to that garden fast. You too, Tala. On our way! <laughs> with the clock ticking, Fogg left London, England with his assistant, Passepartout. 
Husper right. 2 is a fantastic gymnast, just like Kyan. Awesome! I like this story already. So what happened next? Phileas and Pasper 2 took a steam train through Europe, then a boat to Egypt and the Suez Canal, a special waterway built to link two seas together. What did I tell you, Pasper 2? Train plus boat equals London to Egypt in exactly seven days. You aced it, Mr. Fogg. And the Suez Canal will save us a long trip around Africa. Two tickets for the next boat coming right up. Excuse me, Ace Detective Inspector Fix coming through. I'm on the trail of a thief who robbed the Bank of England. Mm -mm. Oh. <sighs> Have you seen this man? Well, he looks a little like my friend Phileas Fogg, but he's no bank robber. Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> well, close enough. Inspector Fix always gets his man. Cripples, they're getting away! Quickly! I need a boat! Follow that robber! Phileas Fogg wasn't a bank robber, was he? No, but brave Inspector Fix thought he was, and he followed him all the way from Egypt to India. Phileas planned to take a train right across the country, but the railway wasn't finished. They were stuck deep in the jungle. No cars, no planes, and now no train either. What did they do? They went by elephant. Elephant? But they're beautiful wild animals. You can't ride them. People did in those days. Elephants carried supplies and people too. <sighs> Thank you. We really need this ride. We're happy to help. Come on, Trunkster. Let's go. Ah! 